Uh, you can see that I'm all chartered energetic and it's time for you to quickly bring out all your art material for the face mask painting because this is going to be so much fun with Auntie Sumedha who's joining us all the way from Dubai and she's so excited to do that. Do you know that she started painting and coloring when she was a child but it was only when she was a grown up and much older that she decided that she wants to be an artist. That's right. It wasn't as a child. She loved it. But as a grown up, she decided she wanted to be an artist. So she went and got proper training under a teacher. And now she's won so many awards and her work is displayed in exhibitions all over the world. That's so exciting. Hello. Hello, everybody. Merry oh, Christmas dear. to everyone. And I hope you're all ready for a mask painting session. So, um, let us begin. So I have made a cutout of the uh, of the mask because you know it was not really visible on this mask uh, the pencil lines. So we will first uh, draw on this. I will draw on this. You can draw on your masks, and then we'll begin coloring on the actual mask that I have. And uh, if you don't follow, just put in a question, and I'll help you out with that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let us begin. We begin, for, uh, what, I'm, what we are doing is a reindeer mask. Uh, I'll just show you a picture of what it looks like. It looks like this. Okay. And take out your pencils and your erasers. And the colors that we need will be red, white, a yellow ochre. If you don't have a yellow ochre, use your lightest brown shade. We will need a brush a round brush or a small flat brush would also do and of course a palette i'm giving you a minute to collect your supplies and then we'll begin with the drawing red white yellow ochre or any lighter shade of brown that you have and black Okay. All right. So let's begin. I'm sure you have all your supplies handy. So let us begin. We first begin at the end of the mask here. Okay. One more thing I wanted to tell you that if you have a mask like this, then you might want to, you know, draw the half part here first, color it, and maybe later after the class is done, you can do the second part as well. If you have a regular disposable mask, you can uh, straight away go on painting on that one. All right, so let us begin. I'm first beginning by drawing a oval, a large oval here in the center of the mask. Okay, a big oval here. Oval, you know how it is, a circle which is elongated. And then we go ahead and draw a smaller oval, which is the nose of the reindeer. And another little spot here as well. You know how a reindeer's nose shines? Yeah? Okay, once that is done, I hope you can see the lines. Once that is done, we make a, another, like an A, but without the line in between, a large inverted U, we can also call it, okay? That's for the head. Then we go ahead and do the eyes. So on both sides of the face, two eyes. That's the big eye. I'm going to make an eyeball on both the eyes and a little twinkle in the eye as well. Okay. I hope you guys are doing it with me. Okay, next comes the Santa Claus cap. So what we're going to do is, you know how you make clouds, little waves or clouds, okay, here like this, and we make another same on top as well, okay? From here is the rest of the cap. And a circle here. Okay, 
and the last no not the last we draw the ears after that is the reindeer horns so here come the ears and the second ear here you won't be able to see it on the other side so we end it here okay and then are our horns on the other side as well there comes our reindeer horns okay that finishes our drawing and then we go on to the coloring so i'll leave it here for a minute for you guys to follow and then we can go ahead and do the coloring so the ears the eyes the twinkle in the eye the round the oval nose and we do three little ovals inside it and the horns in the end if you've finished your drawing then collect your colors red brown white and black okay let's begin with the coloring here's my mask with the drawing on it take your red color out first put a little bit into your uh, palette take put a little bit of another red here as well two places in the second one you add very little bit of white okay because we will do uh, some shading as well so i'm just putting a little bit of white as well in it okay dip your brush in a bit of water and swirl your paint and we begin with the coloring so the first color is for the nose this is our nose don't color the inner oval just do the nose part of it yeah the other part the oval the other inner oval will be like a shine inside his on his nose that's done clean your brush up in water and wipe it with a tissue or a piece of cloth that you have the next thing that we'll do is the shine on the nose so we'll make it a bit slightly pink so that's a slight shade different from the red that we did and we'll paint the inside of the nose that done again clean your brush with water wipe it on a piece of cloth so that all the color goes away from it and we begin with the face i'm going to take this yellow ochre it's like a light brown if you have a light brown you can use that let me take a little bit of color on the brush and paint the face so just be sure that you're working around the edges very neatly and slowly don't pick up your brush just make a continuous line once you do when you're doing the borders just take your brush and don't pick it up and just try and make a continuous line in case if your color finishes just dip your brush back into the paint and we begin again okay there the borders are done and we paint the rest
again when you're going around the edges take a lot of paint on your brush and don't pick up your brush till you show that there is no more paint left on it slowly do soft brush strokes slowly and neatly there the face is done uh the mouth is done the face is yet left so here is the top of the face yeah we leave the the little waves that we done and around the eyes again slowly slowly and neatly around the edges take more color on your brush as soon as you feel that the color is finishing there's your face done if you have any white spaces in between just go over it with your brush okay if you see too many lines on the on the cloth just move your brush over it once and it till it smoothens out okay once that is done wash your brush again with water wipe it so that there is no residue of color left on it and we'll do the eyes okay so take the color black in your palette and we'll do the inside of the eye but we'll not touch the little twinkle that we made over there the small tiny circle inside the eyes so we'll paint around it we will leave the twinkle same thing on this side if in case your uh, that part gets colored don't worry about it we can then add a white color in the end once everything has dried we can add a dot of white in the end color it carefully so that it doesn't go out or anywhere out to, out from the lines okay that's our eyes done okay next we take the red again to color the cap santa's cap so i'm going to outline it okay like that take some more color on your palette in case if it is finished because i need you to put not to dilute the color at all just use the paint as is and we are doing the edges around the white part of the cap color the whole cap red making sure that you don't go outside of the lines put a thick load of color on your brush and paint on the piece of cloth neatly and slowly being careful you don't go out 
of the lines. So our cap is almost done. Just be careful around the borders. Take a whole load of color on your brush and make a continuous line. Try not to pick it up. Pick it up only, pick your brush up only if you are out of color. That the cap is almost done. So this is what it'll look like. I'm just getting in near to the camera. Yeah, so this is what it'll look like, yeah? Okay. Next, we'll do the ears. Again, wash your brush, wipe it with a cloth so that no trace of color is there. And we do the ears. Leave a little bit of white in between. The ears are done. And now we do the, the horns of the reindeer. Take your black color or dark brown, whatever you have, and paint the horns. Again, the less you pick up your brush from the uh, cloth, the better the lines will come. The neater the lines will come. Press your cloth down so that you know you don't get too many curves in between. And there's your one horn done. The second one. Make sure that your edges are not very sharp, so it should be slightly rounded. that your horns are done. So you wash your brush again. And the next thing we do is the, this part here in between. Now you can, there are two things you can do. Either you can just paint it white or you can take cotton, put some glue, roll it in a, ball and stick it here so you can have some I've already made kept them ready so you can stick any kind of white glue that you have and stick it yeah. so what we do is if you have a piece of makeup cotton you can just tear it in half and roll it and use it Okay. You can also put one here at the end, like that. Just stick it with any white glue that you have. In case if you don't want to do that, we will. We can put the white color there. So take some white color on your palette, and here we go. A clean brush. Okay, very important. The 
the white color, you might need to do two coats over it because it could be a bit transparent and it'll look neater and nicer if you do two coats, two coat of color. You can take a whole load of color on your brush and paint. Okay. And we can do a circle here as well. Right there, that's almost done. In case if you have a plain uh, mask, you can also add uh, the icicles here. So the shape is like this. I'll just show you. I'll remove this for the time being. I'll keep it here so that all of you can see it. And what we can do is we can add the icicles here. I'm sure you must have done it in some of your winter paintings. Yeah, like that. And you can make a whole load of it. Make it two here, two here, yeah, and maybe one here as well. Okay? And if, in case you're you going to be using the cotton, just take any white glue, make your cotton ball. Put some white glue here at the end. And we can stick it here. Okay. There, it's done. I hope you all were able to follow. If you have any questions, do let me know. Wow, this is so amazing. I wish somebody made that for me too. I loved it. Wasn't it fun, everybody? You don't want to wear any boring masks now, do you? Well, let's say thank you to Auntie Sumeda for teaching us this wonderful technique for painting face masks. And we've shared Auntie's details on the chat group. So if your mommy or your daddy want to get in touch or if you've got some questions or if you didn't understand something, you can definitely send her an email and she'll be more than happy to help you out. Bye. bye, bye. Thank you so much. And bye bye, children. Have a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year as well. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.